Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited to continue that Disney series I was talking about in my last video, the Aladdin tutorial. So you guys did request that I continue on and do other Disney characters, um, different makeup looks and things like that. So I'm super excited to do today's one. I have a really out there look in mind but it's still quite wearable like glam I would say. So if you guys are ready to get into this tutorial then just keep watching. <laughs> Okay, first things first, we're going to prime our eyes. I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. It's just a white cream eyeshadow base, so it's going to help those colours really stand out. Um, it's like a white canvas, so we're going to apply that all over the lid and up to the brow bone. And then I'm buffing it out with my buffer brush from Real Techniques. And I want the most pigment focused on the lid area and just tapering out towards our brow. I'm also bringing it into the inner corners as well because I am going to apply some colour to the inner corner as well later on. So I want to apply a little bit of white there. Next, going in with some tape. I love to use this trick to get that really nice, crisp, sharp line. So I'm applying it from the corner of my eye and angling it up towards the tail of my brow. Then I'm going to take this blush from Makeup Geek. It's in the shade Infatuation. It's a beautiful, like, rosy tone. I'm using this as my transition colour today, guys. So I'm going in with a 221 Soft Crease Brush from Zoeva, and I'm just applying that shade through the outer corner and through the crease. Then taking this gorgeous, like, deep red shade from Sugar Pill. It's in the shade Love Plus. And I'm applying that on with a Petite Crease Brush from Zoeva, making sure to really buff that colour in on the outer corner. I love the tape technique because I can be as messy as I want and it still ends up being beautiful and like clean. So I'm applying the most pigment on the outer corner and then just bringing whatever's left towards the inner corner. I want that red to be super like vibrant so I am building it up a little bit at a time. It's easier to apply colour that way rather than going in with a whole bunch of that red and trying to buff it out. It's easier just to go in with a little bit at a time and then just slowly build it up. Then going back in with some of that infatuation shade from Makeup Geek to soften any harsh lines. Taking the Bitten shade from Makeup Geek, it's a gorgeous like deep whiny kind of red. I'm applying that in the crease and outer corner with a pencil brush. I'm just deepening it up slowly. I do go back and forth with the red and the infatuation shade as well, just to kind of buff out any harsh lines that may be there. It's up to you guys if you feel like you need to go back and forth between colors. I just like to go back and forth. I find it just creates such a soft, beautiful, seamless blend. Going back in with previous shades and just kind of working your way back and forth, <laughs> if that makes sense. Next, I'm going to take Soda Pop and Chip from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette on that same pencil brush. I'm going to really deepen up the outer corner. As you can see, I really like to stick to the corner of that tape, like that harsh, like that edge, and just kind of use the tape as a guide on that outer corner blend if that makes sense. So I really want to make the most pigment on that outer V area and then buff it towards the inner corner. And as I'm going along I'm actually buffing that those two brown shades kind of up a little bit into the crease area just with whatever's left on the brush so it's a nice soft blended effect rather than, rather than there being any harsh lines. Next is the time to cut the crease. I'm taking a eye concealer brush and some of this MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot I'm basically, baby, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm basically just going in and giving myself probably like a half cut crease. I'm not bringing it all the way to the outer corner. I do want to bring it about two thirds of the way across. So I do bring it up slightly above my natural crease. It's up to you if you guys want to do that. I just find it makes my eyes look a bit bigger and open. Um, and then I just buff out the outer edges into that kind of brown shade with my finger so it tapers off and there's no harsh lines there. So next I'm going to go in with the shade Beam on a precise shader brush from Zoeva. I'm applying this to the inner third of the cut crease area. Then I'm going to take this absolutely stunning duochrome shade from Makeup Geek. It's in the shade Blacklight. It's a duochrome eyeshadow and it reflects sort of like purpley blue tones. It's so perfect for this aerial look. And I'm applying that next to Beam. So I'm helping those two taper into each other, like blend into one another. Then before I go in with the outer corner colour, I wanted to kind of define up that crease a little bit more. So I go back in with Bitten from Makeup Geek and wipe off that precise shader so it's nice and clean. 
I just go and kind of redefine that crease area a little bit with some of that deep like cranberry shade. Then for the outer corner colour, which is like the, just, it's a stunning purple guys. This is from the Jack and Hill Morphe palette. It, I believe it's in the shade Royalty. And I'm applying this on the outer corner, tapering it into that deep like red tones in the outer corner, like on the outer V. So I'm basically just blending all those lid shades together so that they all melt into one another and there's no defining line of where each shade begins and ends. So it should be a nice clean blend all the way through. So I like to go back and forth between all those three shades. Just help them blend into one another. It's up to you guys. It's kind of like what you feel is necessary. Then to get that gorgeous like winged liner effect that you saw at the beginning, I'm going in first of all with some that MAC paint pot again and just kind of creating a base. I did this in my Aladdin look as well. I just wanted to create a nice clean canvas for this um, the colours that we're applying on next. So I first of all take some of Bitten and I mixed it in with Soda Pop and Chip as well. And I apply that on the inner third of the liner. Then I'm going to take some pool side and help that blend into those red tones. Then going in with some of Pegasus, another gorgeous like foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, applying that to the very center of the liner. Then taking some of Soda Pop, Bitten and Chip again, I'm going to bring that on the outer like corner of that liner, that um, uh, MAC paint pot area, just to deepen it up and help it blend into the outer V area. Once I'm happy with my liner, I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm taking some of Bean and Ice Queen and applying that to my brow bone area. Next, you can peel off the tape and oh guys, this is the most satisfying part ever. I just find it so satisfying getting that nice crisp like line. Mm, mm, give it to me, you know. <laughs> Next is Lashes and Mascara. So I'm taking my Maybelline Colossal Mascara and applying some of that on. And then for lashes today, I'm going to take these gorgeous, iconic lashes from House of Lashes and apply those babies on as well. And I just compliment this eye look so much. Next, for like the waterline, I'm going to take this ocean green eye coal from BYS and apply that on. It's not very pigmented, hence why I'm going in with some of Pegasus from Makeup Geek, like an eyeshadow on the waterline to kind of deepen it up. I do like to go in with the eye coal as like a base and then apply the eyeshadow afterwards. If your eyes are sensitive, don't go in with eyeshadow, just stick to an eye coal um, because the eyeshadow will aggravate your eyes. To redefine that bottom lash line area, I'm going to take some of the brown tones on that plus shader brush and just wiggle that tightly against the bottom lash line area. And then buffing it out with some of Bitten from Makeup Geek, making sure to connect it up to that um, red on the on the lid area where that like sharp line is. You don't want to have a gap where your lid and your bottom lash line is. You want to make sure it all blends nicely together. Then taking some of the initial transition shade, that infatuation blush from Makeup Geek, I'm applying that um, underneath Bitten to just buff it out so there's no harsh lines and it's nice and smoky. For my inner corner like highlight, I'm going to take a few tones today. I want to kind of get like a halo effect if that makes sense. So I'm initially taking some of white lies and poolside and applying that to my inner corners then i'll take some of pegasus from makeup geek and apply that on next then i'll take some of beam and a hint of ice queen and apply that to the very center just like i said for a halo effect and ombre inner corner highlight if that makes sense to finish off the eyes i'm going in with some mascara the same that i use in my top lashes and boom baby boom the eyes are done. I'm so happy with how they turned out. For the lip today, I chose something bold just because I think, you know, Ariel's got the iconic red luscious locks and I'm like, why not do a red lip to that? Kind of symbolize that. So I'm going in with initially this brown um, eye coal from Makeup Geek in Espresso. I love to use it as a lip liner. It's super creamy and it stays on all day. I'm just lining my lips and filling in the outer corners. Then taking this Zoeva liquid lip um, in the shade matte chat. I'm applying that over top to create a nice ombre kind of lip effect. And then to get a gorgeous glossy lip, because I've been loving the gloss look lately, I'm applying some of this gorgeous cosmetics um, lip gloss in the shade pout over top. So this wraps up today's video guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this makeup look. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I really feel like there's the aerial vibes in there with the purple, the, like 
like turquoisey blues, reds, just all that kind of jazz. So if you guys do have a request for my next character down below, I know Snow White is in the list of ones to do because I have had a couple of requests for Snow, for Snow White. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up before you leave and subscribe down below to my channel so you guys can join my YouTube fam and keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials like this one. Otherwise, guys, have an amazing day. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.